Welcome back, Phosphodot fans. Roll at the logbook.com here with more classic ColecoVision. This game is about as simple as it could possibly get, and yet it really does anticipate a lot of side scrolling adventure games that came after it. The game is Smurf Rescue in Gargamel's Castle from 1982. Now, in the advanced publicity for ColecoVision, screenshots and, you know, really artist conceptions of this game in action were front and center in Coleco's drive to make sure that everyone understood that this was a console that could deliver graphics way above the standard of what was expected from hardware platforms such as the Atari 2600 or the Intellivision certainly more than the Odyssey 2 or Studio 2. You have a Smurf who actually looks reasonably like a Smurf, walks more or less like a Smurf. Dies like a Smurf, that's that's always important. And rescues Smurfette, very much like a Smurf. The controls for this game are exceedingly simple. There is no action button pressing going on. This is all joystick action. To jump, you simply press up. It's a matter of timing because as you've seen, you can, you know, it may look like you're about to clear a hazard and you don't. And yes, if you're a smurf, even a blade of grass is a hazard. Or for that matter, you know, some minor geological formation that most human beings would probably crush underfoot. Still, the colors are vibrant, to say the least, and... You know, you have here a game based on a cartoon that looks reasonably like the cartoon upon which it is based. One could argue that Pitfall had already pioneered the side-scrolling genre, and that would be correct, but I really think you have more of this game's DNA in later side-scrolling adventure games than some people would probably be willing to admit. This last jump has to be done just right, or you die just right. Like a smurf. Oh. Alas. Alas, the smurf is no more. He has smurfed his final smurf. Well. Anyway. Let's try it again. <laughs> it, it may seem kind of ridiculous to, you know, embark on any sort of serious analysis of this game's place in the pantheon of video game milestones and development, but if you. It, it, it's, this is one of those you kind of had to be there sort of things. This really was a moment where you could tell that, you know, this was one of those watershed instances where you had just impaled a smurf. Um, and this was one of those watershed instances where graphics had taken a quantum leap forward. I would argue, in all seriousness, not being ironic or funny here, that 
This Smurf game was to home console games what Zaxxon was to the arcade. Merrily we Smurf along. Oh! Not close enough. Too close. Hmm. Oh, you can go back the other way. Yeah, buy Smurfette. You're on your own. Oh, too close again. Smurf, buddy. What's wrong? It's like you've been out smurfed. That's sad. It's interesting that the cartridge itself, when you plug it in, just calls the game Smurf Rescue. I wonder what skill level 2 <laughs> brings to the table. This is since I suck so badly at skill level 1. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, the bats and birds. Well, I died. And I jumped face first into the bat on that occasion. Oh, come on, Smurf. You're really letting me down here. Smurf, dude. You get serious here. Oh, alas. Alas, poor Smurf. So I wonder what happens on level 3. How bad can it possibly get? The funny thing is, even though it's Gargamel's castle, I don't believe Gargamel himself actually shows up at any point. All right, we'll see if I can survive this. We'll see if it's even possible. Oop, impaled myself on the fence, as only a true Smurf would. for a running start here. So I can die. Oh, that's interesting. If you don't like the terrain, just go back a screen. And, uh... Come back and face some different obstacles. Alas, poor Smurf, I knew him well. And this leaves us to wonder how how bad does it get on level four? <laughs> Not that I'm gonna find out much more than I did on level three. I never even made it to the castle there. Well, the bat's more aggressive. Oh it's it's gonna circle back and get me. Dive bomb me, bat. Oh, 
Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> We're not. Darn it, bat. Oh. <laughs> Any blade of grass can be deadly. Well, there you have it. Smurf rescue in, around, and near, in the general vicinity of Gargamel's castle from 1982. Really kind of a watershed moment in graphics for home console games and in terms of how close you could get something to look like a licensed property that was not an arcade game in and of itself.